Hey, so this is kind of a follow-up to something I posted previously, and uh, there's gonna be some new designs that you can download and print to make your own freaky, kind of manually powered uh, robotic arm thing. But let me show you the trajectory here. Uh, any other video I posted, you'll see this. This is version one. This is a string pulley robot arm system. So there's pulleys on either side and there's cables that go through this conduit in the middle. And the big discovery here for me was that uh, I could get action at a distance even if this thing was twisted in a weird, at a weird angle or something. That really allowed me to go straight to this second version here. This one's got a flexible conduit. It's quite a bit longer even, but it's flexible. Uh, so it's a lot quieter. It still gives you action at a distance, right? This version two gives me this action at a distance. I've made a couple of uh, important adjustments. First of all, the pulley's way, way smaller, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the other really important thing is to take the tensioning trolley. There's a little trolley that you can adjust to pull the cables tight, and it's been moved up into the handle here. So that gives it a lot more running room, and that means you can soak up a lot more of the loose tension before you run out of room there. So that's a, that's a nice addition. However, uh, I made a little discovery as I built this, that there's a mechanical relationship about the size of the pulley that I was not previously aware of. Uh, and with such a small pulley here, the cable actually has very poor uh, leverage over this joint. So if I hold this thing like this with my hand and then I try to move it here, I can still move this a lot. And if you look at the cable, you can see it, it moves a lot because it's trying to get shorter, kind of twist up on itself there. If you wanna see what this looks like when it fails, here's some uh, of those tubes. These are PTFE tubes, like what is used in a 3D printer. But the uh, steel cable corkscrewed that tube up and then also ripped out the side of it there. So that can happen. It's less likely here, but I've got very poor advantage over this thing and the tube is gonna want to coil up on itself like that. So the quickest fix for that is actually just to make the radius of this pulley bigger. So we move on, this is version three. In version three, the pulley is a lot bigger and that gives it a better mechanical advantage if I try to hold this thing and then move this other one. Um, I, I really can't. The action is very stiff and it, it doesn't have that sponginess, which is just what I needed to be able to build something bigger and crazier like this, right? And this kind of thing, I wanna be able to wear this and I also want it to be a puppet. So I'm gonna to need to put a costume on it, decorations, whatever. Uh, these kinds of systems are not strong enough to build robots that can lift and move boxes, but they are strong enough to move themselves. And it's got a very fast responsive action, right? Dangerously so. <laughs> uh, it might not be strong, but it is fast. And it's strong enough that you can put a puppet on here to get it to look like something better than what it is. Um, but essentially it will give you a nice, quick and dirty robotic arm. It's all manually powered. It doesn't require an external system like hydraulics or pneumatics would. It's all just like a dry system. It's cable powered uh, and it's essentially manual, right? Ta-da. So I'll put all the, uh, I'll put the files for version two and three, uh, the links to those things in the description as well as a link to that previous video. If you have any questions uh, or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Catch you later.